sometimes things can go a little bit slow on the road of life, stuck in traffic. But yeah, it's, it's about adjusting ourselves to that and knowing that we cannot push the river, we cannot force it. It's trying too many times, driving ourselves crazy over not only being stuck in traffic, but then we say we have a bad day. But ultimately, it's all part of the experience. But we're here to learn how to deal with things better. That's the key. I continue to remind myself of that. Let go of my need to try to change things outside of me, try to change things that ultimately cannot be changed. And while I've talked about this many times before, and other people have talked about this many times before, that's it's the key. That's the key to personal growth, to self-transformation. To know what we cannot change, and to give our, up our need to change those things which lie outside of our control. It's so simple, but yet it's so difficult. It's even if you're stuck in traffic, it's about how to use your time. You can listen to a tape, make a recording, you can sink, you can always sink. Go to a grocery store and there's a long line. Instead of driving yourself crazy, it's part of a paradigm shift, you know, to look at it differently. It is what it is. And it is about how to use our time, how to use our space instead of, yeah, getting upset over what ultimately kind of change. I know I repeat myself here, it's just a reminder because it's very, very important. I myself have to learn that. And that's where, I, uh, where the idea that life is learning comes from. It's about how to deal with things, how to deal with frustration, how to deal with loss, disappointment, rejection, judgment. So what I am trying to do is to raise awareness to that. that especially in, in difficult experiences. You have loss, heartache, suffering. They are all teachers. And it really is about what we learn from that. The lessons we have received on a, uh, on a personal level, emotional level, mental level, intellectual level, the art of living, the idea that we're all unique, that we're all special, that, that love is the way, that that's what God is all about. We forget these things. I really believe that children already have that awareness as we come into this world as spiritual beings. We know that love is the way. We know that this is what God is all about. God is peace. God is truth and the light. But yeah, as we uh, grow up in this world, we become conditioned to look outside of us for answers, to pursue happiness, to try to find God, to find success. But yeah, ultimately we all have that awareness within us. Regardless of how it has been conditioned out of us, how much we have forgotten, we still have that awareness. And that's the idea of truth can only be found by looking within. We all have that truth. So I hope I can encourage others to look within themselves to find those answers. It, it needs to uh, come to you as a result of your own critical thinking. That's the key. That is the key awareness. That's why I've created uh, this uh, thought-provoking title of teacher of learning. I mean, you cannot teach learning. But it is the idea that life is learning, that we are here to learn things. But more than learning, it is about remembering, because we already have this knowledge within ourselves. Because see, all the things we learn in this world, like go to school, go to university, these are things that information, written in a book, book knowledge, academic learning. But this is a very different kind of learning. It's a very different kind of school, the school of life where we attract experiences for us to learn. That's, I really have come to find that's the truth. It's part of, yeah, the reality. But everything that happened to us is part of what we get to learn, part of the experience, part of our lesson plan. And especially those things which are very difficult for us to deal with. They provide us with the greatest opportunity for learning. Those people who upset us the most, ultimately, are our greatest teachers. We can learn to look at it this way and shift our paradigm. Accepting people for who they are 
and learning from and about them. And that is really the key. You know, to learn. Some people don't want to do that. Many people have come to find. Many people are stuck. They don't want to grow. They don't want to change. This is just how we grew up in this world. We go through the motions of our educational system, our social conditioning. We develop a certain personality, which rarely if ever changes. So as we adapt certain views, certain habits, a certain outlook on life, we have a tendency of comparing the world outside of us to that. So we heard of the idea that we don't see the world as it is, but we only see it as we are. And so the point is to see more clearly, to open ourselves up to the greater reality surrounding us and not comparing everything to ourselves. I say ourselves, I include myself there very much because that's something I have to learn. I have found that I have a tendency of looking at people in terms of how I want them to. And when I receive, for example, judgment, which I'm very sensitive to them, when I receive, or when I, I, I perceive that people focus on what their expectations of me, I become very defensive and I, yeah, I am not as open anymore. So that's something that I realize for myself I have to work on. Welcome again to the school of life. Welcome to the experience of life, which we are here to create. Because we create our experiences, we are all co-creators in this thing called life. We create everything that happens to us. But we attract everything that happens to us. Absolutely, this is about the law of attraction in action. What we are learning, what we pick up along the way, it's different from person to person, of course. But in order to become aware of that, it is essential to share that. Share it in a group, share it with yourself, talking about it. Because if you don't do that, you don't know what you know. So ultimately, we are what we know, we are what we have learned. Yeah, I'm not talking about what we learn in school, I'm talking about what we learn about ourselves. What do you know about yourself? What are the lessons you have learned? as a result of your own experience of what happened to you in, in the past. Very important to understand that the path which has led us to where we are today has created our own perceptions, our own views, our own reality. Realizing that, that's the first step. So I, I put together this little program here on YouTube and also my intention is to develop this further inspire some other people to look at their own lessons, realize their own challenges in order to move beyond. So that's the point. It's about improvement. That's the thing about development, about evolution, change. It's a process. It's the essence of life. But the question is really how do things change? For us human beings, it's very different of course from animals plants of course because we have a sense of awareness we have a mind we have free will but yeah what what, the, what directs that process of evolution for us human beings is learning we are what we have learned we are what we know it's difficult to become aware of that but it is possible definitely it is possible and it is essential because only if we are aware of if I'm aware of what I know if I'm aware of who I am, then I can begin on the process of who do I want to be? How do I want, what do I want to change about myself? And how can I go about that?